My name is Richard Allen, and I'm a composer of a piece called Man Born of Man. The text is by Isaac Rosenberg, and the title itself is a play on the religious text from the burial rite, Man Born of Woman Hath But a Short Time to Live. Rosenberg is, was uh, a First World War poet, and writes with sort of great sort of ordinariness um, about the tragedy around him. He will focus on the most simple sort of everyday thing, um, and in turn juxtapose the ordinariness, the simplicity of, of daily tasks against the enormous destruction that goes on uh, around him. There's a contemporary taste to write reflections on older pieces, and the palimpsest disc explores this by asking us to write over pre-existing um, elements. In the case of my piece, there are two distinct musical voices that combine to do this. The first is the Kaddish. Kaddish is part of the burial rite in the Hebrew tradition. Um, it's a beautiful melody, been set by many composers and is perfect in its own right. I wanted to include it. Rosenberg um, is a Jew and his gravestone bears the Star of David. And I think I am guilty of growing up with a received kind of view that the First World War poets were, and I put this in sort of inverted commas, were British, um, and there's that sense of sort of English Anglicanism, um, and that really isn't the truth. You know, Rosenberg is a case in point. Um, he's the son of Lithuanian uh, immigrants, um, and existed in sort of great sort of poverty really in the East End of London, and brings with him in his work, and in, he's a painter as well, um, a, a wealth of, of, of influences. Um, that mark his work. And that sense of marking um, or hom you know, giving homage, um, in this case to Rosenberg, is extended elsewhere at the end of the piece. Uh, the choir intone a kind of litany of names, and uh, the names are those recorded who died the same day that Rosenberg did. Rosenberg was killed in action in 1918. And each of every day of the wars, um, um, the names are, are recorded. And it's quite a, a salutary thing to do to read through them and realize the breadth of cultures, influences, religions, and indeed ages. Um, and there are hundreds uh, that share that death day with Rosenberg and the choir and to his name amongst the many others that he shared that day with. Um, I wanted it to be a kind of sound homage um, to all of those people. The second musical element is um, a full quotation of Richard Farron's um, piece of 16th English polyphony, um, Call to Remembrance. We hear the piece in whole in one of the choirs, and the second choir answers it, again exploring this nature of juxtaposing different elements. Um, God's blood is shed here at the other choir in sort of in tones uh, against the, the pharaohs, juxtaposing 21st century music with 16th century music, um, ancient uh, texts from you know with their, their religious kind of um, connotations um, against Rosenberg's very simple, very blunt, and very um, direct uh, 20th century texts. And the piece is scored for soprano saxophone, which as I say, plays the Hebrew Kaddish in full above the whole texture. Uh, the organ is there to support, um, and it's written for double choir. And for me, it explores, I think, my own views of what I inherited in terms of in, you know, the Great War, as it was referred to. I wanted to get closer to the individuals and trying to explore the individual voices, the individual names. Um, and try to open up a, a wealth of tradition and cultures and religions that all collide in everyday life for all of us anyway, um, despite, in a sense, what the political view would tell us. We are all infinitely sort of diverse um, and responsible um, for a whole range of influences. And I wanted to encapsulate that um, in the piece both musically and, and texturally, um, as a homage to Rosenberg and a homage to um, those that lost their lives that day. 
and mindful of the venue that it would be performed in, it was performed in Canterbury Cathedral, itself, you know, the home of Anglicanism. But of course, it build, it, the building didn't begin that way, um, and it too has seen changes of of religion and, and so on. And I feel that we're all in a state of, of flux as life passes. And I wanted just to alight on one or two elements to kind of shine a light on that really. And uh, that is uh, hopefully what I managed to do in Man Born of Man. <laughs>